Hello, I'm Lawrence Ball. I'm a math tutor and I'd like to show you a really, really effective way to uh, learn how to do your times tables to uh, have them be very easy for you to remember and to learn to relax and concentrate and cultivate that combination. So the way I teach times tables is you start off doing what I call sequences so we'll write the times table I'm going to do is the two times table, just as an example. I'm going to write down all the numbers from 1 to 12 in order in the left hand column of this panel. And I'm going to write down the result of multiplying each number by 2. If you get stuck you can always add 2 to the previous number. So you've got a built in safety net if you forget something. And you keep on doing this. It's worth, well worthwhile to practice this until it becomes really, really easy. Obviously, each times table is worth mastering before you go on to the next one. And again, you'll find that with practice, some of my students get this down from 90 seconds initially down to about 15 or often 10 seconds because it just makes it so much crisper and the memory works much more effectively. When you've done a few of these, um, what you should do is consider moving on to jumbles. Now, jumbles are more difficult, and they can be tougher at first, but you can, once you've got the jumbles going, they will help you recall the times tables much more effectively. In a sense, at that point, you're forcing yourself to work with memory. Let's put 2j for jumble. I'm going to write down all the numbers from 1 to 12, but write each number anywhere under, except under the number it comes after. So you can see, you can make your pen and dance around the page. Boing, boing, boing. Quite fun. By the way, you should also cover up the previous ones you were doing so that you can't see them. Okay, so when you get to a jumble, um, that's it's worth timing yourself actually because then you can see how much quicker you're getting you can measure your brain muscle so to speak and you'll find the jumbles also will start slow and the faster you uh, the more you practice them you'll find that uh, they get pretty fast too a lot of my students can do them in under 15 and sometimes even 10 seconds and of course you start with the low times tables like the 2, the 3, the 5 and the 10 should be learned early on the others, it's not so important, the order. In fact, the order is not important at all, really. It's just that um, some people prefer to learn 10 and 5 first. So, yeah, obviously, um, more. Um, because they're compatible with the number system, you can see what's going on and get the answers more quickly. So I'm doing these just to give you a flavor, get the feeling for what what you need to do. You, if you're industrious, you can get a printout of a template so that it saves you copying these numbers out every time. Maybe get your parents or your computer to do it. And then, oh, I can see this. <laughs> so, that's it. It can be very relaxing and very effective. The idea is to, to promote ease with yourself. One thing you may never learn at school is that things should be easy. I'm a bit worried that if, they, if you think that too much, then you might end up slacking it off. But it's actually important. It's much better for you to enjoy the process and to be happy and joyful while you're uh, using your mind in a focused way. Well, I hope that's helpful. Um, see you on the next video.